Lab. Hey, Chelsea here again. Are you ready for an adventure? Today we're going to explore an amazing process called the water cycle. This is a journey like no other and it's full of excitement and surprises. Water on Earth goes on an incredible journey, changing form and travelling all around the world. It's like a never-ending story full of twists and turns. And the best part is, we get to be a part of it every day. From giant icebergs, raindrops that fall from the sky, to the water in your glass, the water cycle is all around us. And today, we're going to learn about all the amazing things it does for us and our planet. So come on, let's take a trip and learn about the amazing water cycle. I promise you'll have a splash of fun. The water cycle, also known as the hydrological cycle, has four main stages. Evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and collection. First up, evaporation. This is the process where water on the surface of the earth, such as oceans, lakes, and rivers, turns into water vapor and rises into the atmosphere. This happens when the sun's heat warms the water and causes it to evaporate. Next up, condensation. In the atmosphere, the water vapour cools and condenses into tiny droplets forming clouds. As the tiny drops join together, they get bigger and heavier. As the clouds become more dense, the droplets eventually become heavy enough to produce precipitation. Precipitation is the process of water droplets falling back to the surface of the earth. There are four types of precipitation. Rain, snow, sleet, and hail. The type of precipitation that falls from the clouds depends on the temperature of the air. If the temperature of the air is warm, the water droplets in the clouds stay small and fall as rain. Raindrops are usually big and fall from the sky like drops from a faucet. If the temperature of the air is cold, the water droplets in the clouds freeze into ice crystals. These ice crystals can stick together and form snowflakes. Snowflakes are usually small and fluffy and they fall from the sky like feathers. If the temperature is between warm and cold, the snowflakes might start to melt, but then freeze again before they reach the ground. When this happens, they form sleet. Sleet is made up of tiny ice balls that bounce around when they hit the ground. If the temperature in a cloud is too cold, the ice crystals can get bigger and bigger. When they get too heavy, they fall from the sky as hail. Hail is usually big and round, and it can fall really fast and be dangerous. The final stage in the water cycle is collection. This is where the water that falls to the surface either soaks in the ground to become groundwater or flows into rivers and streams. This water can then be used by plants, animals and humans. The water that soaks into the ground can also end up back in the oceans, rivers and lakes where the cycle begins all over again. Awesome, we've just gone through the journey of the water cycle and learn about all its different stages. 
Now you understand how water evaporates from bodies of water, rises into the air to form clouds, and falls back down as precipitation. Think about it. Every time you see rain, snow, sleet, or hail, you'll know the science behind it. And as a water cycle expert, you can impress your friends and family with your knowledge. But it's not just about being cool. The water cycle is crucial to our planet's survival. It's a delicate balance that regulates temperature and distributes water all around the world. So let's care for our planet to make sure we have clean, fresh water for our plants, animals and future generations. Bye for now.